Hey, y'all. Listen, I woke up this morning with all these, like, <laughs> these silly thoughts on my mind. Just stuff that I just saw over the last couple of days that's just been blowing me. Or I would say the last few days. And I just, like, let me just talk to the people. Let me talk to the people this morning. Now, I don't want nobody to be offended. Because, you know, my opinions are my opinions. And if you, you don't have to agree, you know, we can agree to disagree. But... Sometimes I just be having stuff on my mind. I'm like, let me just say what I'm going to say. Anyway, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it makes me so uncomfortable and cringy. But why is George Floyd, the late George Floyd, on some kind of funeral tour? Is it me? Is it just me? Or why do, that's weird as shit to me. I'm sorry, that's weird. Now, you know, he has, he lost his life tragically and he, has certainly been a catalyst in the change that we're seeing. The people are out there. But I just find it weird that this man's body is on tour like he, he Megan the Stallion, okay? This is just weird. Like, stop. It was weird enough to have all them celebrities on the front row at his funeral. You had Ludacris and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish and Tyrese was there dressed like a militant uh, Black Panther. It was just the weirdest shit. You got Al Sharpton up there doing the eulogy. It was just weird. And um, I did a video a few days ago calling out Lee Merritt, Benjamin Crump, and Sean King. And and, and I personally feel like Lee Merritt and, and uh, Benjamin Crump got something to do with this funeral tour that we are seeing. This man has had a funeral in Minneapolis, which I can understand that, right? North Carolina, and now he will finally be laid to rest. Did I miss a funeral shit? Because I feel like he's been on tour. He finally will be laid to rest in a private memorial, a private funeral in Houston, which, it, good. I'm glad it's going to be private. Folks, don't, he, his family needs to be able to celebrate his life and put him you know, put him in the ground without all this fanfare and this celebrity. It's just weird as shit to me. I'm sorry, but that shit is weird. And I just feel like this was a part of, this was a part of the planning of Lee Merritt and Benjamin Crump, you know, to, to force that visibility. Listen, the visibility is out there. George Floyd has become symbolic and the people, the people are enacting and making the change. The people are putting the pressure on and things are changing. Conversation is being had. Policies are being introduced because of the people. So when someone asked me the other day in my video, when I did about Benjamin Crump, Lee Merritt and Sean King, like, well, they have been helping. How? How? Because this is the people's work. Okay. These men are on some kind of celebrity tour with a body, right? That's what they're doing. Probably sitting there waiting on that GoFundMe to be finished so that they can get their little cut out of it because George Floyd's family can raise damn near $15 million. The GoFundMe's been put in there in, in George, for George Floyd's family and that shit is all damn near $15 million. It may be past that by now. So they just waiting to get they cut. But this little funeral thing, I'm telling you, I just feel like it's the work of these men. I, 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 call, I call them ambulance changes because that's what I think they are. Hell, uh, Lee Merritt was quick to say how Jay-Z sent a private jet, his private jet for him to get, you know, go down there, uh, for Ar Amar Arbery's, um, I believe it was like the grand jury testimony. So that's what, this is what I'm talking about. I just feel like these men, these men take a lot of credit for stuff that they ain't doing, right? They not. This is the people. The people have taken over. The people have taken over and taken over the reins of this and they out there. Uh, putting the pressure on him, burning shit up, busting pipes, right? That's the people. And somehow these men will be credited for that. So the next time something tragic happens, they will run off. They'll forget about George Floyd and they'll run off and they'll go to the next, you know, thing. All right. And get more notoriety off of that. So I just wanted to point that out because I, I, I just, I don't, it's just something about this. You would think that Martin Luther King uh, had died. Hell, Aretha changed outfits. She, I don't even know she had that many funerals. I'm just saying, that's just kind of weird to me. You know, but rest in peace, peace to him. I just hate to see that his, his children have to keep reliving funerals. It just seems weird to me. But let's move on. The next shit show that I want to talk about is this foolishness right here that happened yesterday. 
uh, the Democrats, uh, the, the House and the Senate Democrats uh, out here kneeling for eight minutes and 46 seconds. And apparently they must have had one of the House aides interns order uh from Amazon or whoever, the, the a bulk of kente cloth sashes and, and they, they draped them around their necks and now they look like they're part of a step show. Now, they, I, 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 listen, I went to college and I have, I have gone to plenty of step shows because they look like they're about to step. Hey, senators, what? You looking good today. I mean, I promise you that's look like they, <laughs> that they're about to step. What the hell is this? This is embarrassing. This is I had secondhand embarrassment watching this. Like I keep thinking to myself, what poor, <laughs> what poor aide had to take the order and press the send key and say, okay, I'm going to purchase like uh, 50 kente cloth sashes for uh, the senators in the House of Representatives, Democrats, so that they can put on some cosplays they can put on some like little, it was just embarrassing. This is so weird to me and performative. It, it just is performative. Now, again, I, 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 I don't think George Floyd's death will certainly be in vain. I love to see, I see, I see the movement. I see the needle moving and that's because the people ain't letting up and folks are exposing themselves the police officers, because of the pressure, because of folks being out there, the police officers are exposing themselves. They are exposing themselves and showing you just how fucked up they are, a lot of them. So things are happening. The Democrats, I guess they call themselves, uh, you know, uh, proposing and uh, legislation uh, for police reform. And that's fine and good, but here's my issue. With with a uh, with this stuff, and like I said, this is performative to me. This is not impressive. This is actually more embarrassing than anything. Um, until we see real change, until we see the, you know, the Congress get serious about, you know, I don't feel like we can truly achieve equality without some kind of equity. We ain't really got no skin in the game. We ain't got we ain't got that kind of money. We ain't got that kind of money. We got people in power, yes, but. The folks, the people ain't got no money. So until we get some equity up in this, we ain't going to really achieve full equality. But, you know, this, this is just embarrassing. My God, they should have been embarrassed to even look at Nancy Pelosi's ass. What is she about to do? Is she a f crime fighter? Is she about to fight cr racism one cracker at a time? I don't know. But this is really, really weird to me. That she's standing like that. This is just, it was just funny. I was having a good old hoot yesterday. Just thinking about uh, all these different things. You know, you got Mitt Romney out there uh, marching with the peoples. Uh, you had the Amish. The Amish was sit, holding up Black Lives Matter. When you get the Amish out in the street, the witches, the witches was out there you know, uh, marching for Black Lives Matter. It, it's just been one. 2020 has really been interesting and I keep thinking, oh my goodness, we are only six months in. What else is there to, what else we going to get? What else are we about to see? And if I get one more email from these corporations saying Black Lives Matter, I'm going to lose it. Y'all, I got an email. I don't, maybe y'all can attest to this. Um, I guess because I sign up for different stuff. I don't know. I got an email from PetSmart talking about, yes, we, we believe in Black Lives Matter and uh, shit. I think I got one from Lovers Lane, but I could be wrong. But let me let me not go there. Y'all don't need to know that I love us Lane. Anyway, um, <clears throat> anyway, my thing about these corporations, it's great and all to say that, you know, Black Lives Matter and stuff like that. All these corporations coming out with their own statements. They just want to get in front of this. That's fine and good. But, you know, what will be real change, it's, it's not enough to just say Black Lives Matter, you know, Pet Smart, Pet Co, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, whatever, whoever is sending out the emails, Amazon. Now we need to see some real change within your own corporations. Do you have black executives? You know, how many black people do you have? Work? And now I'm not talking about the, the lowest level workers, right? Because they get paid pennies. We're talking about 
who in in the brass, the top brass, what what does it look like? What does your top brass look like? Mid-level brass, what does it look like? Do you have black folks in those positions? Because if you don't, I don't need to get no email from you talking about Black Lives Matter. Because that don't really mean shit. Those are just words. You're just getting out in front of that in case something come out, you know, from somebody that you employ saying some bullshit. And that's going to be a whole nother, um, that's going to be a whole nother, uh, video, y'all. You about to lose your job. You saw that. I'm sure y'all saw that. There's so many people out here losing their shit because they've been exposed. That's, that can, that's going to be a whole different video that I'm trying to put together, girl. Y'all, sis, everybody. I know men look at this too. I'm just rambling this morning. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to say I just woke up with this on my mind. I'm actually still in bed and it's just, it's just funny as hell to me that people, <laughs> that these folks is out here doing that. And then, and, and that's not all. So as you know, uh, Donald Trump, I ain't gonna call him president. He, he have a whole lot of time to do a whole lot of shit other than run a country, right? So this tweet, it, it, go, it went viral of his likes the other night. And his ass liked this comment after in the, the episode of Insecure. This is how I wanted tonight's episode of Insecure to end. Damn, Molly. So I had to make sure that this was real. So I went to his uh, Twitter and it was real. It's real. And I'm like, what the hell? The, the, the world is burning up and this fool watching Insecure. Or maybe he just liked the picture of the two black girls in the field. I don't know which one it is. But I just like, damn, the world, the nation is in chaos. And this fool over here mad at Molly too. Man, I don't know. I don't know. But it's been one. It has been one. And I just wanted to bring this guys, you know, bring this to y'all. And these were just some of my thoughts I had early this morning waking up. And I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> it's been a shit show for the last few days. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. Y'all go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, y'all.